Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh man, it's going down. Oh, wow. Oh, that is crazy looking. Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. Now, what you are looking at here is probably one of the biggest ships I've seen in Stormworks. And this thing is not normal at all. Now, it is spawned here in the dock, but there is a special way to spawn stuff like this. Uh, this boat is actually in two parts. And this is something that I've noticed on the uh, the workshop quite a bit. There's been multiple boats. Because Stormworks doesn't have a big enough build area, that they would build the boat in two or three pieces and you would actually have to put it together. Well, luckily, Stormworks has custom missions that allow you to spawn these things now. So today, we're going to start off with this ship. It's called the Vanguard, and this thing is absolutely amazing. It can actually sink itself uh, to actually pick up big boats and we're gonna attempt this all here today so as always the links are down in the description if you want to check out any of the creations that you see here today uh, we will be returning with some more multiplayer probably some more sinking ship survival here very soon so yeah if you're enjoying stormworks on the channel be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump into this oh dear this thing's massive like most normal ships would stop about right there because uh, that's the spawn area and this is in two parts. I don't even know where it's connected at. I think it's somewhere in the middle. But uh, what this ship is used for, and let's hop down here. This ship is used to transport other ships. Like, this thing can fit an oil tanker in it and carry it. So, let's go ahead and climb up to the tower. It looks like there's three. Is it just three or is it four? No, it looks like it's just three uh, cranes on each end. This thing is so massive. It is a little bit laggy, but as soon as we get away from the uh, the dock here, we should be good to go. What is in here? Okay, these are probably empty areas. Let's just go up to the top real quick. All right, here we are at the bridge. Looks like we got stabilization, emergency cutoffs for the stabilizers. Uh, the thing's already cranked up. There's the ballast uh, over here. The stern extenders. I don't really know what those are. Some sort of supports. Uh, really what I want to do, let's get this thing moving. Okay, it sounds like the engines are cranked, but hold on, let's hit this. Oh, they weren't. Uh, okay, there we are. Alright, so engines are cranked. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights real quick. Let's set cruise control up. Are we moving? Which one's the actual pilot? Okay, that's the pilot seat there. Alright, can we move this thing forward real quick? Are we powered up? It sounds like we're powered up. Hold on, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Is it the cruise control? All right, here we are. We are moving now. Check out how big this is. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Now, I know there's some other missions. Uh, I don't think it's the same creator. Actually, I do think this creator has another mission where you can spawn in a... I think it was like a destroyer that's in two or three parts, too. But yeah, just look at this thing. It's already equipped. It's got its lifeboats ready to go. Uh, I think the split point is somewhere is right around that post right there. Uh, this thing, and I don't know if I can release it, but it actually splits itself in half. And that's how it's able to be spawned in. So, yeah, if you want to ever spawn one of these in, you'll have to use the custom missions here. Now, this thing has a feature to it. I'm not really sure where I should do this. Uh, this thing will sink itself. It's got a little, uh, you can see on the side there, up by the stairs. Uh, it'll show you how deep you are, I believe. But this thing sinks down so you can drive like an oil tanker in between it and then it'll lift itself up and you'll actually have a ship on a ship so i'm hoping to be able to use that all right so there is a keypad over here i believe this is how you set the sinking here so uh, i've never actually worked one of these let's see okay so i can actually oh so i can put this thing down so say let's go to negative 7.00 okay let's submit that the question is, is it sinking itself now? Uh, there's a very good possibility. Look at that! It's going down now. Oh, that is an incredible system. Actually, I don't know if we're even that deep. Uh, is this going to be deep enough to be able to put something on it? Yeah, it's going down. So you use the keypad, which I believe this is a new part. This is an update. 
uh, because I think you can use these keypads also to punch in like uh, GPS coordinates and have something autopilot all the way over. That's incredible. Let's go ahead and set it down to eight. We might not be deep enough though. We'll see. All right, eight. Go ahead and submit that. All right, that should dip us down even further. You know, I do believe I can get a ship on that. All right, so it's going down. You can see. Oh, actually, you can read the uh, the boards there. Little buoys are floating now. This is an incredible ship. Like, this is awesome. All right, so it's going to go down supposedly to eight, but I, I could swear that we're on the bottom right now. There it goes. Oh, it's going a little beyond eight, isn't it? Okay, it's almost at nine. Okay, so this thing is down right now. All right, so in theory, and this might get laggy, folks. I do apologize. We're going to grab another ship, and we're going to attempt to actually tow it. So... This is going to be cool. And you folks thought maybe we're not going to do sinking ship today. This is actually a controlled, awesome sink because I'm really excited to uh, see how quickly this thing will raise it up as soon as we punch the uh, coordinates back up. Uh, or I shouldn't say coordinates, just the actual uh, the depth. I'm curious how fast this thing can raise itself. It sinks really fast. All right, let's go get that ship. All right, so what we're going to be hauling around, we're going to be hauling around a tanker, which this is, I think basically the tanker that's in the game that you have to do in some of the missions all right so this is gonna spawn okay it's not too laggy actually it is pretty bad here at the uh, the dock but let's go ahead and get this thing out there and we're gonna actually see if we can tow a ship around like this is gonna be incredible if this works all right so i've got to be pretty precise about this what we're gonna do you know i don't wonder if those crane magnets are really for the ships uh, I need to position this thing in between the towers and hope that I don't screw something up here. I have a feeling it's going to be very easy. Now, I saw a picture of this on the workshop of him doing this, uh, but I don't think he had, a, I don't think there was any sort of attachment. Uh, so maybe the cranes, I don't have to attach those and it's just going to sit on like the little stilt thingies here. All right, so we're pulling over it right now. I need to turn a little to the left here. Uh, this is probably one of the coolest things we've done. You know we're going to test this thing in the high waves and see what happens here. Uh, but let's go ahead. Okay, a little to the left. Okay, so we are about over the first, uh, the first set of legs here. So we want to go a little further. Let's go and start letting off because this ship's going to carry a little bit of momentum here. There we go. Can we adjust those legs? Are they on railings? Because... The ship looks like it might be a little small for it. I don't know. Okay, our engines, it's still moving around a little bit. Okay, let's kill the motors. All right, we look to be in positions here. I guess we could use some of the winch locks, which I don't know if those would just attach to the sides here. They might. Actually, is this a winch here? No, no it didn't. All right, so it's got connectors on the side of the, uh, the supports there. I don't know if these supports move or not. I don't see a railing system. So it's a bit concerning, but I think we can lock this down. All right, let's get back up to the top real quick. You know, I'm kind of curious. I'm assuming this is the actual way that this works. Like, this is the actual way they have to load up ships on this thing. So let's go, uh, uh, it's going to be 1.0. So let's go boom. Okay, so we should be lifting now. Let's go inspect the work down here. Okay, so the ship's going to be just setting on the deck. My hope is that these arms, I can close them inward a little bit. Uh-oh, is the ship off center? Oh, come on. You can do this. Oh, this is some dangerous looking work here. This is cool, though. Like, you would not have been able to do this in Stormworks uh, in its first couple of months. It's these updates and optimizations that have really, really helped this game. All right, we're almost down. Okay, we're at negative one. I don't wonder if it needs to be at zero. Okay, here comes the deck. All right, so that boat right now is actually setting on top of this. Now, there's got to be a way to actually secure it. And I'm thinking it's either by crane or I really think it should be those little uh, the stilt thingies down there. And I believe, are th okay, the supports. Can I, can I turn those on or is that moving? Yeah, I really can't see what I'm doing here. That's the problem. Hold on, let's go ahead and turn. I'm seeing the gauges move. Now, question is, is it locking it down? Is it moving closer? Oh, I might be able to see it from here. Oh, it is. If you look at the right side there, you can see they're moving. So they are on some sort of railing system. So let's go ahead and pinch the ship and secure it. And then it should be good to go. 
Okay, it's definitely securing those. All right, I think we are secured. Ship should be ready to be towed now. Let's go ahead and check it real quick. That is awesome. I think the backs and the fronts could go in a little. Actually, the backs look like they can go in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to adjust these a little bit, and then we should be good to go. But it's close. All right, we are starting to move now. So we're going to put this thing through its paces. Let's go cruise control all the way to max. Now, this is not a fast ship. It's not fast at all. But it's just the whole fact of look at what we're doing here. Like, that is so cool. Uh, I wouldn't say I did a perfect parking job with the oil tanker, but it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not moving, is it? Nah, not really. So, in theory, you know, you've got all these awesome features. You can also use this for sinking ship survival. Once you get to a certain, uh, depth, you could punch it into its max, which apparently its max is, uh, negative eight. But with it being so deep, I think it would go down. All right, I think we've gotten far enough away from the uh, the dock here, so time to activate some dangerous towing here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. There we go. All right, question is, can this ship handle the waves? Oh, man, that is cool looking. Wow. All right, so oil tanker. Oh, oil tankers are rocking. Oh, you know what? Oil tanker is not secure. Uh, you know, there's a light in here somewhere. So let's try to let's try to extend those out and secure the tanker real quick. Tanker's rocking a little bit. This might be the time you would hook it up to a couple inches, but I think we're okay. All right, let's keep moving here. All right, I went ahead and turned off the uh, turned off the storms. I think the waves are going to be enough, but this is just some dangerous towing here. Okay, so autopilot should be engaged, even though I manually engaged it. What if I do it here? Uh, let's see. Okay, autopilot. Yep, sounds like it's engaged. Okay, so it's making sure this thing was going to continue to move as we walk around. And look at that view. Look at those waves. This is cool. Oh, boy. Let's uh, climb up in. I don't know what they would call this. Like, I always think of a pirate ship, and it's like a crow's nest. I don't know if that's still the right terminology here, but I want to climb up in this and get this incredible view here of what we're doing because this is one of those moments in Stormworks where I'm like, this is why you buy this game. This is way too cool. Look at this. Look at this view. I mean, we literally have an oil tanker. We're hauling this ship around. They need to have some more missions uh, like this or with this. Uh, maybe the mod creator could have like a towing mission where you have to take something like the tanker all the way over to the other side by hauling it. That is too cool. All right, it is time to simulate a system failure here. Now this thing, you can hear, you gotta listen close. You'll hear an engine cutting on and off, on and off. And I believe that might be its stabilizer. Oh, this is dangerous. Uh, walk up here, okay, climb down in, okay. All right, we're good. So there's a emergency cutoffs here for the stabilization. Now question is, if these were off, would we capsize this thing? Emergency cut, emergency stabilizers. What's the one and two? Is that motors? Uh, let's cut these real quick. Okay, so stabilizing motors are off. So... It seems like it cut the cruise control motors off too. No, we're still moving. Okay, so stabilization's off. Okay. Now, what are the other ones? Are these just motors? I'm cut those. Cut those. Those are cut. Those might have been the motors. Oh, boy. Oh, we're getting rocked now. Uh, we're still not even in those really huge open waves. Let's go stand down on deck real quick. All right, so stabilization, I think it's pretty important because every time this thing gets rocked really hard, water is just absolutely spewing over the deck. That is cool. How deep are we right now? Okay, I can't see the sea floor now. Oh, that is awesome. Man, we need to get more really big ships like this. Uh, I know there's a couple more in the workshop. Hopefully they have the custom spawn missions. Ah, right, let's go ahead and really screw this up. We've checked this ship out. It's very amazing. Like I said, I highly suggest downloading it. There actually is a couple crew quarters below us too. I wasn't sure if there was much detail as far as interior. Uh, but we've got to do this. Okay, where's the little keypad here? So it says I can only go to negative 8. What if I were to override that and go to negative 13? Uh, maybe it won't read the value. I'm not really sure, but we're about to see what happens here. 
Oh, man, it's going down. Oh, wow. Oh, that is crazy looking. Question is, is the uh, is the oil tanker gonna hold in there? You know, it's pretty uh, it's pretty locked in there right now. Uh, but I don't, without the stabilization motors and stuff like that, I don't think this thing would capsize. It just seems way too wide to do that. I mean, I think it would take like a massive wave, but uh, this is pretty incredible nonetheless. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big wave. Okay, I think it's official. I do believe the uh, the oil tanker's floating now. Okay. Can we hop over to the oil tanker? Uh, this is a this is a daunting jump. Let's go. Uh, oh, 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 oh no! No, we went too far. We skid it. We like skipped like a rock. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! These are massive waves. These uh, oil tanker, everything it can't handle it. I didn't know there was buoys in the game or a way to make buoys. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try to get on the ladder here. Oh, this thing is going down. The big tow ship is going down completely. Oh, I think we're getting knocked out of the uh, the supports there. Yeah, this ship's sideways now. Uh oh, okay, hold on. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the main deck here, the bridge. You know what? For people that like to see me close doors, there we go. Door is closed. All right, let's see if we can get this thing fired up and see if we can drive away here. All right, oil tankers fired up. Is this ship made it to the bottom? No, it's still going down. Uh, can we drive out of this? Uh oh, uh oh, oh, we're gonna run into it. No, no, no. Sorry, Vanguard and all the people on it. Uh, oh, I think it's probably best to... Let's reverse the motors real quick. There we go. Kick it in reverse. Let's avoid the two crane towers back there. Dude, this is cool. Oh, wait. Why are we capsizing in this? Why does this thing feel like it's going down? No, this one doesn't have any sort of sinking capabilities. Like, this thing has to be capsized, I guess, in order for it to go down. I think the uh, the Vanguard appears to have stabilized itself. I don't think it's going down much further than what it's... No, nah, I say that, and now it looks like the cranes are going down. No, it's going down. Vanguard is sinking. All right, let's go ahead and back up the uh, oil tanker. Oh, boy. There goes the Vanguard. Its bridge is getting covered now by that wave. All right, let's go ahead and turn to the right here. This is like sinking ship survival, except for we escaped an oil tanker. You know, we could have used the lifeboats that are on the side. Uh, those look kind of cool. All right, we'll say goodbye to one of the biggest ships in the game as soon as we turn here and not hit its little tower. Yeah, it's still going down. I don't think it can handle the waves right now. It's bobbing. It's like it wants to try to stay up, but I think it's uh, before too long. I think those cabins are going to flood, and it's going to just go. Yeah, there goes the top of it. Still, it's trying. It's fighting like crazy. Uh, it's got some sort of drain, I think, right now working to try to keep it afloat. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get away in the oil tanker. That is cool. That is probably one of my new favorite creations. Uh, I don't think, it, like I said, we've never played with anything quite that big here. So hopefully we'll get a, maybe a couple more creations like that here soon. But anyways, I think it is time to move on to the next one. Alright, so that first creation was epic, but I think we're going to move on to something else here. And yes, folks, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is a shark. We have a shark creation here. This looks extremely awesome, huh? Let's jump in it. There we go. Okay, so is this like a little mini sub or is this just skim on top of the water? I don't know, huh? Let's climb down into here. Okay, we might want to... I want to close that. There we go. Is that a, uh, is that a bear? This thing's pink. Huh. This is kind of cool. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to read the instructions. Dewar, is this, uh, there's a dorsal. That's the, okay, that's the fin there. Okay, let's turn that on. Move, lay, I don't, are these actual terms? Oh, let's just use the, uh, oh, what the heck? Oh, that's fast. Oh, that is, okay. You know, let's turn that. Let's turn that off. That was a mistake on my part. Okay, so on. Uh, we might have already screwed this up. I, I guarantee you, we screwed this up. We're already beaching the shark here. On. Can we get this thing to turn to the right? Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Ah, right, let's try this again. Okay. Just gotta get a feel for how this thing works. Does it have lights? Uh, okay, so you can open and close its jaw. 
Oh, dude, that is cool looking. It almost looks like we can eat some fish. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so if I hit one, does that push us up? This thing is incredibly fast. Uh-oh. Hold on, so if I hit down. Okay, there's how you go up. Okay. There we are. We are a shark now. Hold on, so we turn left and right. Uh, yeah, you can see there is some body movement there. So if I start turning to the right, the shark kind of shifts over. All right, so there's a speed up and down. Is that like a cruise control or, or is that just for the actual motors? I don't really know what that is. Okay, four's lights. Okay, if I saw a shark with red eyes, I would probably cry. I, I don't think I would need that in my life. Uh, we are dragging bottom right now. Okay, so it can bank with left and right. So we can kind of shoot up out of the water here. That is cool. So we can kind of bank it over. Oh, that actually really helps with turning. Wow. Man, these creations and stormworks are getting insane, folks. Like, if you've not bought in on the game and this doesn't sell you on it, like, I don't know what you're waiting on. These are cool. Let's go and open that jaw again. That's really, that's pretty awesome looking. All right, there we go. Okay, let's hit one, turn that off. Let's kind of dive down. Let's see if we can just swoop up here. So let's do that. Let's lay on the throttle. Oh, that's a rock. And, ooh, there we go. We are the shark. That is cool. Can we completely roll over? Oh, you can. Oh, that is awesome. Wow, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, don't break its jaw off. Oh, no. Shark out of control. Oh, shark out of control. Man, it would be kind of cool to, uh, like, attack a ship. They need some sort of damage model in, in Stormworks. Like, they had it where you can do impact damage or even, like, cutting damage. Like, could you imagine eating into the side of a ship and sinking it with this mega shark? That would be cool. Anyways, I thought that would be a, a quick little creation you guys would enjoy here. All right, so for our final creation here, we're going to be checking out this B-17G. This is awesome looking. Like, I love the B-17s, a uh, World War II bomber. Very cool. Tons of turrets on it. You got, like, a tail gunner. You got the top turret, side gunners, and there's a little ball turret down here. Now, question is, I'm not a very good pilot, so can I pilot this? Actually, there should be an opening somewhere along the wing here. Hold on. How do we get into this thing? There we go. Okay, so I open the door there. Now, it says the interior is not uh, complete yet, so it might look a little rough. These things were uh, these were scary. If you look at the interior on a B-17, it looks like a metal maze. Question is, does the uh, does the ball turret work? No, it does not, I don't believe. It's kind of curious if they found a way to make it spin. There's your side gunners, front gunners, or actually tail gunners. Uh, hold on, let's go to the front. Now, the front should be... Yeah, it's layered here. So you've got the... Uh, this is the front gunner. And then up here is actually where your pilot and co-pilot are actually... Uh, they're above it. So let's go ahead and jump into the pilot seat. How do you see out of this thing? Whoa. That's kind of tight. Oh, there's bomb bay doors. Okay, so there's your landing gear. Engine one, two... Oh. Did, are they turning? Okay, there's one and two are turning. Is this three and four? Oh, we're pulling. Uh, okay, where is... Uh-oh. Cabin lighting. Uh, are... engines one and two are fired. Is three and four supposed to be these? Okay, oddly enough, I don't see the engines. Yeah, they're not connected. That's the, uh... That's the wee bit of a problem there, isn't it? Uh, okay, well, it should be good now. So, where I think they meant to connect engines uh, 3 and 4, it should be connected now. It's weird that that isn't a thing. Maybe they uploaded the wrong version of it? Because definitely there's a lot of detail here. And it's one of the top workshop items right now. So, I'm assuming everything actually works. Alright, so... Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Yep, that was your problem. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh question is, does this thing... Okay, no, I can see it's going to want to try to lift here. I don't know if this is enough of a runway. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. Oh, wait. Wow, that lifts really fast for a bomber. Okay, so the uh, <laughs> the flight controls are okay. They're Everything's good. It's just the uh, the engine's not hooked up. Uh, I can see the spot for the landing gear. Do we have a gear button? 
Let's see, it's Bombay doors, gears. Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, so gears are up. Everything is functional. And, oh, that actually really is beautiful. Especially the uh, the setting and the clouds in the background, the ocean. I had a chance to fly in one. Well, I had the chance. I didn't actually take it. It was a little pricey. Uh, down by the coast where I live, they were actually would give out tours, and you could fly in one of these. Uh, I think it was right around $500. I, I just don't know. I, I, it looks really claustrophobic in there. I, I'm not necessarily claustrophobic, but eh, something like that might make me. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But uh, this creation's really, really smooth. I, I do dig this. Uh, this is beautiful. Now, question is, Bombay doors. Let's open those. Oh, oh, I can see them opening. Got a little lag there. So I'm assuming maybe eventually there's going to be some sort of attachments here, like a toggle system. And we'll have some bombs to drop. That's cool. All right, so Bombay doors. Let's go ahead and hit those. Okay, gear. That's cabin lighting. There's your brakes. Let's we can turn those off. Yep, this is a, just a very normal, very awesome flyer. Feels really good, very stable. Kind of curious about this paint job, though. I don't particularly notice one of this paint style. I don't know if this would have been like an after-war paint, because to me that would probably stick out like a sore thumb, so... Looks like the painting is still maybe a work in progress, but still nonetheless very cool. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We will have some more multiplayer coming up here relatively soon. Uh, should be some more sinking ship survival. Even though we got some here today, uh, that was a little bit different. That was more like to showcase the, uh, the build itself. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll do some more missions. Hope you guys have a great day. We're going to go fly off in the sunset. And we will see you guys next time on Stormworks. Thank you.